Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about Mount Zion. We got a question from Sam on the sex about Mount Zion and whether it is figurative or a literal place. So in this video, we're going to answer that question. Now, of course, we hear about Zion or Mount Zion all throughout the Old Testament, many times pointing to Jerusalem. So when people see Mount Zion spoken of in the book of Revelation and other places, they assume that the scripture is still talking about Jerusalem. But we're going to find here in this video that it's not actually talking about Jerusalem at all. So where exactly is it? Well, let's read Revelation chapter 14 and verse 1 first, which out of the Common English Bible says, Then I looked, and there was a lamb standing on Mount Zion. With him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. So this is why we want to know where Mount Zion is at, because alongside this 144,000, will be the multitude that no man can number, like we read there in chapter 7. So these are all of our father's people who are expected to be there on Mount Zion. The 144,000 plus the multitude and no man can number, who will be those who will survive the apocalypse in the flesh. So where is this Mount Zion? Are they really expected to go over to Jerusalem? The thing about Jerusalem these days is it's all desert land rocky and arid they have to get their water from expensive desalination plants in other words they're drinking purified seawater because they have no other source of water over there so even though it was a very beautiful place back in bible times it's actually a very harsh environment to live in now so let's look at more scripture and see what it says like in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 6, where it says, Thus it is written in scripture, Look, I am laying a cornerstone in Zion, chosen, valuable. The person who believes in him will never be shamed. So who is this talking about? Of course, it's talking about our Messiah. Or maybe it could be talking about Elijah. But in either case, are we truly expecting him to come from Jerusalem? when he appears here in the end times if so then you will be expecting him to be sitting in that temple that they plan to build over there even though in the previous verse peter told us that the temple the third temple would actually be built spiritually and we will make up the stones of that temple so why would it be necessary for elijah or our messiah to come from jerusalem when he is expected to come in spirit and not as a human or any other material manifestation. Well, I believe it's Hebrews that tells us exactly where this Zion is at when it says there in chapter 12, verse 22, but you have drawn near to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, heavenly Jerusalem, to countless angels in a festival gathering. So here is the answer. The Mount Zion that we read about is spiritual in nature. It's not Jerusalem or any other particular place here on the earth. It's actually in a higher dimension, in a heavenly dimension. So when we're looking back at Revelation chapter 14 and verse 1, when it's saying that the 144,000 will be standing on Mount Zion, it's talking about the kingdom of heaven. That's where Mount Zion is, the kingdom of heaven. In fact, when you look up the word Strong's 4622, you see that its usage is sometimes used as heaven. Mount Zion is the kingdom of heaven. And for more information on it, let's go over to 2 Esdras chapter 13. This chapter gives us a lot of information as far as the end times. In fact, this is the one chapter where you can read about the people they call the left behind. These will actually be the same people standing on Mount Zion. This is a very important chapter, but down at about verse 35, we start to hear about Mount Zion. 
It says, but he will take his stand on the summit of Mount Zion. Zion will come and will appear to all built and ready as you saw a mountain carved without hands. So this is telling us that Mount Zion will be created by our father. Again, pointing to the kingdom of heaven opposed to Jerusalem or any other place we can catch a plane to. So don't be so quick to jump on a plane trying to go to Jerusalem. That's what they refer to as Zionism, where they're trying to gather all of those people over there in Jerusalem. The thing about it, the prophecies surrounding Jerusalem are devastating. Like we read in Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4, where it's talking about that stone that was carved without hands landing on Mount Olives and turning it into a crater. And of course, Mount Olives is right there on the east side of Jerusalem. So all of that region will be destroyed when the Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4 prophecy is fulfilled. But it's definitely clear that Mount Zion is a spiritual place and we can get to it from where we're at any place in the world. We just have to be regathered back into the fold. Well, we learn over in the Septuagint translation of Jeremiah in chapter 38 that we are gathered at the Feast of Passover. Not Jerusalem. It's not a physical gathering. So again, don't be confused thinking you need to travel anywhere. You could actually be headed straight for danger. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you down there.